in my last video I mentioned to you guys that I was putting in a spray booth because you can see on my wall back here I have got plenty of spray on the wall. Now here behind me is the making, is the frame I've got together for the um for this booth. It is a yeah as I mentioned it was a designed for hydroponics and things indoors for indoor growing of plants, um, vegetables or whatever people do these days. So it is a basic kind of uh, powder coat of steel framing. It all clips together nicely with these little buttons. So matter of you know less than five minutes and you've got the framing up now i've got to put in the base and then the sides Right, well that was a bit harder work than I thought. That was actually, um, yeah, much harder than putting up the frame. That's due to probably this material here that's actually quite, um, it's quite thick, it's quite solid. Um, probably I'd say 90% of the weight of that package of this arriving was this material. It's a blackout fabric on the outside with a um, reflective uh, liner inside for obviously for growing. So when you put light in here, it makes it all nice and radiated with light. Yeah. I'm gonna put a bench in here yet. Uh, probably put the bench from outside in here. I think it'll just fit. The reason why I chose this for a spray tent, other than, you know, the size and the fact that it keeps everything clean, is we've got some nice big extraction port holes here. Uh, one here, one here. We've got some smaller ones here, which I'll probably use for running power wires in. Um, but yeah, I think these are in about, potentially 300 mil ports. So I've got two incoming ears and I'll probably have two outgoing ears at least, or maybe I might even close off two of them, just run one in, or two in and one out. Um, we'll see, so we're about to have some airflow going, hopefully going through while I'm painting. And we get in there. So, I have managed to move the bench in. Unfortunately, when I sized it to my bench, I realized that my bench is exactly the length of the tent, which doesn't account for the, account for the fact that the poles are inside it. So I managed to sit it the legs and the back of the poles. That's the way it sits so far. It means the bench is angled slightly forwards, but um, that actually is fine. Um, yeah, so I've got the, a shelf in here, which I've actually bolted through to the studs on the back wall with the brackets. So that's the shelf that was there before. Um, I have then got the lighting in there. What I'm gonna do is, because the power points are back here, I'm gonna run those up through the back here and out through this tube here, and then I'll have a multi-box uh, with switches on the bottom of there, so I can plug all anything that needs to plug into there. So that how, that's how it currently sits in the workshop. It's closed up. I thought people would like to sort of see what it was like closed up. Plenty of room to work in here, so I can do my spraying. I can spray things on this bench, and then chuck things to dry underneath here, or on the floor if I really wanted to. Um, yeah, so what I've got to run now is a compressor line in somewhere. So I think I might run my compressor line in through, probably through this one here, I'd say, um, for spraying. Or I might actually run it through this bottom one um, to be determined. So there we have it. I've done a little bit of tidying. Um, started to get it set up, work out where things are going to go. I just haven't hooked up the extraction system yet. I have the compressor hooked up and going through one of the uh, holes. I have the light set up in here, nice light beam for that shelf, chucked my paints up there and my fabrics and my, sorry, my sandpaper up there. I've got some uh, moulds here ready for painting so I can test it out soon. I've got to um, mount that multi-box underneath that shelf. Um, I have my airline coming in here now so I can do my spraying. I've got my guns and things sitting under there. Um, yeah, I've got to run extraction at the top here should be good to go so for around about 300 bucks you can get yourself a spray tent or more or less so you can only do jobs that suit the size of this tent it is actually two meters by 2.2 by 1200 so it's not the biggest but for things like i want to do like this that's actually the perfect size um yeah i'll update you as i get some extraction systems set up